Hi everyone, Joe Broncato, the Air Gun Scientist. Today, we're going to talk about how to make a great gun even better. The gun, the Crossman Marauder. Probably one of the most popular guns out there. This one is in 25 caliber. So how do you improve it? Well, we're going to put what's called a hammer debouncing device, or HDD, into this gun. In fact, we're going to do it on this gun. We're going to see how. Um, so, what is an HDD? A hammer debouncing device stops the hammer from bouncing on the valve. If you've ever heard a gun go, right, when it shoots, sometimes, especially marauders when they get low on air, instead of hearing a nice crisp snap, you hear like a little when it fires. That's the hammer bouncing on the valve. And after that first initial bounce, or first initial contact, which sends the pellet out, it's bouncing on the valve, letting little puffs of air out. Well, those subsequent puffs are just wasting air, making the gun louder. So the function of an HDD, or hammer debouncing device, is to stop that from bouncing after the first contact. Now, a hammer debouncing device, or HDD, is not to be confused with the thing that they put inside here that comes with the Marauder. It's called a D-Pinger. It's a completely different animal. Yeah, it makes the gun quieter, but it's not an HDD, it's, so forget that. It's not the D-Pinger. So there's two brands out there uh, that we sell. Uh, the first one is called the uh, S SG, and this is an excellent unit. That's what it looks like, okay? And the next one is deceptively simple, and it's called the Free Flight Hammer, FFH. So you have an SSG and an FFH for an HDD, either of which do identically the same thing. Now, I'm going to show you some formulas and tests results that we've done. Both of these work exceptionally well, and dare I say, equally well. Why? Because they both do what they're made to do. Stop the hammer from bouncing after the first hit. So, once it does that, it's um, not going to be better or worse than the other one. It just stops it. Uh, I kind of hate to use the analogy, but it's like either you're pregnant or you're not, okay? Well, either it's bouncing or it's not. So once they stop the bouncing, they work equally well. Uh, the prices are a little bit different because uh, this comes with more parts. You get a brand new hammer. It's already assembled. Uh, you just kind of plug that in there and you can, you can work with it. Um, that obviously costs a lot more. The free flight hammer is deceptively simple, but works just as well. Um, but again, um, it's a matter of taste of which way you want to do it. So with that, we're going to pause. We're going to show to you uh, the next step. Okay, my helpers are telling me that I should attempt to fire the gun without the hammer in it, or without the hammer debouncing device. And man, I wish you can hear this. I'm not sure you can, um, but we'll put it in the video. And if you can see the difference, you can. And if you can't, I tried. So listen for kind of like a See how it's not a nice clear snap? Okay, that's pre-HDD install. Now we're going to put one of the HDDs in. Tell us what you think. Okay, so prior to the HDD install, we did a graph of another gun, uh, but we're going to just show you that graph anyway, of the number of shots that one got when they filled a 25 caliber Marauder. Now how I do it is, um, I just number my shots, 1 through 30, and I put the, volume, or the velocity for each shot with each uh, corresponding shot below it. What we're trying to show to you in this graph here is that my personal criteria was we're going to use 20 feet per second from the max as being what we like. So if the gun was shooting up around, what, 790-ish, 795-ish, we were canceling it at about 775, and we'll let you see this graph, but basically it came out to about 20 shots, 22 shots, is uh, the number of shots we got out of a um, unmodified Marauder, okay? And you can work with this, but basically it was 22 shots. Not too bad, okay? Let's see what happens after we install the HDD. Pause. Okay, so... Here is the hammer. 
This is the thing that physically smacks the valve to pop it open, okay? You pull this back when you pull the bolt, the trigger will hold it in position, and then when you fire the gun, the gun goes off. But this little son of a gun is just sitting there going bang, 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 ever so quietly, and that's where you hear the pause it. Sorry about that. Okay, so I cocked the gun, and I did that off camera so that you didn't see me fumbling around. I just got this Allen wrench and I pulled it back so that the trigger would catch it. So you're going to see the hammer hit, and we're going to take it apart and show you too, uh, the valve. You're not going to see much more than that, but just kind of give you an idea how the gun works. So, uh, by the way, I made sure I put the, took the O-ring out before I did this, because if not, it'd be missing. Okay, so you're going to see the hammer mount, uh, move. You're not going to see it bounce. I doubt it. But you sure could hear it. Okay, now we're going to fix it. We're going to pause it. I'm going to do everything I can to tell Adam to stop the camera. Okay, so what I'm showing to you here, that little pin in the center is the actual valve stem, okay? This is the hammer. The hammer sits in here like this, and there was a screw, well, it was on this side. On that side, that's the thing we use to cock it that that bolt pulls on. There's a spring back here, and there's a cap that goes back here. I'll show it to you. So here's the cap with the spring, and you can see with that system, that's free to just go boing, 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 boing. Whereas with the SSG, it's most easiest to see. It's not. Once it goes, it's kind of, well, you got to kind of look at it and figure out how it works. Easiest way to explain it, but it doesn't have a chance to uh, just bounce on that puppy. So with that, we're going to pause. We're going to, sure, you know what? No, let's, let's not pause. Did you pause it yet? Okay, good. So through the magic of video, we have the test results already from the previous guns. Um, using the same exact stock spring with the uh, free flight hammer, it gave basically the same velocity, a little bit, a little bit less, uh, because that's how we had adjusted it. Um, but we went from a total of 22 shots, which was in the stock. We looked at it from saying, okay, from the max here, which was like 785-ish, down to say 765-ish, we got about 22 shots. With both the SSG, which is in blue, and the free flight hammer, which is in red, we went from 22 to 33. 50% more shots using either ha hammer debouncing device. Now, don't get all, I don't know what the word is you wanna use. Oh, the SSG gets love, less power. No, they both give identical power. It is how the SSG was set at that particular time for that particular gun. We could have cranked it up more, but as it is, it took me like two, three days just to do all these tests and, and stuff. I mean, yeah, if I had time ad infinitum, didn't have two kids and work two jobs, this is two jobs, um, I'd do it. Bottom line, both of them did exactly the same thing. They gave you 50% more shots per tube fill on the Marauder. They also gave you a lot more shots, like two and a half times, actually 2.59, 2.6, rounding it off. 2.6 times more shots out of a Great White, Tiger, Guppy, or any other 4,500 PSI tank. And how does it do that if it only gives you 50% more shots? Well, it gave you like one and a half or whatever the frag, whatever. I'll, I'll show you the numbers later in the video. It gave you a significantly more number of fills from a Great White because instead of reacquiring 3,200 PSI, which is what this particular gun needed to be filled to, to uh, get a nice smooth curve uh, equidistant from the peak, because you, you want it such that your peak is here, you get the same amount of shots on one side as you do on the other. If you're getting a peak that goes down, you didn't fill it enough. If you get a peak otherwise, get what I'm saying. Um, so let's pause it there.